Okay, welcome to Fictional, or True. In this video, I'm going to show you my idea for how to attain fusion. For those of you who don't know, fusion is often shown in with an atom, how normally with hydrogen, two of them are pushed together at so high pressure that they turn into hydrogen. And when they do that, they release heat and light. So here's my idea. What if you could just have a spinning sphere that's loaded with hydrogen And then, when it spins around, it starts to build up energy on the inside as it brushes against the hydrogen. So it's constantly moving across the hydrogen and then generating energy. This energy all starts to move in on the inside of the circle, on the sphere, until it starts to push all the hydrogen to the center. And then, as more and more hydrogen go to the center, it ends up compressing into uh, helium. So it's a theoretical idea, but it plays a part in my idea for the uh, Iron Man arc reactor. So um, for those of you who are really into Marvel, uh, Marvel superheroes, Iron Man is really well known, and his suit is powered by the arc reactor, which uses fusion. For those of you who don't know, Iron Man is a guy who basically doesn't have powers, don't correct me, I'm just saying to make it simpler for you, he doesn't have powers. But he is really smart and has built exoskeletons with uh, awesome weapon systems. And he ended up inventing a uh, specialized self-sustaining energy source. That's what this is. Later I'll end up putting my own idea for a low voltage self-sustaining energy source um, as a video, but we'll get to that later. So the idea is that Iron Man's arc reactor runs on fusion. So here is my idea for the arc reactor. Just give me a second. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, it ends up using a cord. Now, because it generates a non-electric energy, it only has to have a one-way cord. It doesn't have to have a positive and a negative end. So the idea is that it has a mini solar panel in the bottom right here. These are the parts that I've already drawn in. Those are mirrors. Meanwhile, there is a solar panel in the bottom. It all filters it down to that cord. So we've got a solar panel. And then mirrors. Now you may have noticed that this is a concave mirror. The way it works is when light comes into a concave mirror, it goes in from all directions and then comes out in one direction and a much, much more powerful beam. So it works with, uh, with a similar process of this. Now this top part also will have uh, probably a little beam right here and then that holds the fusion reactor, which is a ring of four of those spheres. Now the way it works is, to start out, those spheres will be uh, using a chemical and magnetic reaction so that each of them starts to spin around. And as they spin around, the hydrogen that's loaded inside will um, fuse together. Now the idea is, these start with hydrogen, and then once they make helium, 
the way it works is that the helium, because of its size, goes to a different sphere. So we have two of them that create a fusion due to spinning. But then my idea is that if you were to actually make it so that instead of them spinning this way, they're spinning the other way. And what that does is, because it's made by spinning, it actually creates fu uh, fission by splitting it apart. So this is the uh, fusion core, and it's what's constantly generating the uh, energy. Now, the fusion core is inside this ring. Now, the way it works is, like I said, it's self-sustaining. Now, the spinning motion, because the fusion generates heat, this also generates heat. And it uses that heat to um, create more spinning. And it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning once it's started. Now, the idea is that it releases heat and light. There's probably going to be a couple more mirrors right here. But then what ends up happening is it generates heat and light, which goes all over this place. And then it hits this solar panel which sends the energy down through the cord. Then that energy from the cord, that only has a, uh, it's a one-way cord because it's creating clean energy, not electricity. And then that um, would be able to be plugged in to a basically electric converter. Now this idea, if someone makes it, Please give me the credit, because I did come up with this myself. Um, now, I will have to throw a little credit to Marvel, because they came up with the arc reactor, but hey, I figured out how to make a theoretically real arc reactor. But in some of my designs, like my Fireman Exoskeleton, I will be referencing this as the power source, because hopefully this will be made before any of my other projects. Well, except for a secret project that you guys will find out about once it's done. So thank you. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Uh, for those of you who enjoy science, this should have been really awesome for you. For those of you who don't, sorry. Okay. Farewell, this has been fictional or true.